Republicans are using an all of the above strategy when it comes to suppressing the vote in this election. Vote ID may get all the headlines, but GOP efforts to limit voting rights are a lot broader than that. In the last two years, nine states have tried to pass laws to limit early voting. Five of them succeeded. And now voter purges are suddenly reemerging in more than a dozen states, including crucial battlegrounds. Both President Obama and Governor Romney know how important the swing states are to winning the election. That's why this week, both campaigns are spending the bulk of their TV ad money in just four states, Colorado, Ohio, Virginia, and Iowa, crucial states where voting rights are under attack. Most Republicans insist it's all about preventing voter fraud. But once in a while, we hear someone tell the truth about what's really behind these attacks on voting rights. Joining me now is Jim Greer, former chairman of the Republican Party of Florida. Mr. Greer, thanks uh, for being on the show tonight. It's a pleasure to be here, Al. Now, you recently made some stunning claims in court documents about Florida's GOP's new voting laws. Take us into the meetings that you were at and what was said about suppression. Well, I think, first of all, you have to realize that most uh, reasonable Republicans and Americans as a whole, if they knew what went on behind the political curtain, they not only would be disgusted, they demand that it stop. As chairman of uh, Florida's GOP and a member of the RNC Rules Committee, I sat in on many meetings where it was discussed of how to make sure that what happened in 2008 when President Obama brought out the college-age voters, the minority voters, never happened again. And, you know, the Republican Party believes that minority voters in, in general are not ever going to vote Republican. So discussion centered around how do we make sure that what happened in 08 never happens again. And part of those discussions dealt with changing the election laws in Florida and how to ensure that uh, the Republican Party uh, doesn't have to deal with what it dealt with in 08. And, and some of those changes dealt with uh, reducing early voting uh, right. because people know uh, or statistics show that uh, early voters are not generally leaning Republican. Well, let me stop you right there. Sure. We, we have the data. Fifty four percent of African-Americans voted early in 2008. So you're right. The data is very clear that uh, early voting was certainly used. And you had sold to the polls where the churches were using uh, early voting. Go ahead. So, you know, they talked uh, about reducing early voting because that wasn't helping us win, uh, the Republican Party win. They talked about uh, making uh, voter registration much more difficult for third-party organizations, organizations like the League of Women Voters who have been doing this for many, many years. There were a lot of discussions of what could the Republican Party do, led by the political campaign strategist, to ensure that Republicans win in 2012. And it's very sad what's going on in the Republican Party. It's very sad that the Republican Party doesn't want to win votes by talking about what it stands for. It wants to ensure that some people can't get to the polls, can't register to vote. You know, the political strategists of the GOP uh, can't control what voters do in the voting booth, but they can certainly try and control them ever getting to the voting booth. Mm. And that's what's happened in Florida. So you, uh, you were chair of the party, you were on the RNC Rules Committee, and you were in the room, and you said this in sworn deposition, when the discussion was not about fraud and any of the things, but really how we affect who will be able to vote, and particularly minorities and young people, because they felt that gave the edge to President Obama. You're stating this, that that was the discussion in the room. Absolutely. In three and a half years as chairman of Florida, I never had one meeting where voter fraud was discussed as a real issue affecting elections. Never one time. Uh, voter fraud Never is, one time fraud was never a major issue in any of your discussions in three and a half years as the state chair of Florida? Never one time did we have any discussions where voter fraud was a real issue. It's simply been created as a marketing tool here in Florida for the right wing that is running state government now to convince voters that what they're doing is right. It's a marketing tool. That's clearly what it is. There's no uh, validity to it. We never had issues with it. 
The main purpose behind it is to make sure that what happened in 08 never happens again, and if that includes keeping voters from voting, keeping voters from registering, that's what the GOP-led government here in Florida is going to do. Now, you said in your uh, uh, deposition that political consultants and staff were talking about voter suppression and keeping blacks from voting. They talked about uh, not letting blacks vote and minority outreach programs was not fit for the Republican Party. Now, you've been facing legal difficulties. You're under an indictment. Some have said you're just saying this to get even, to uh, uh, some payback. How do you respond to that? Well, first of all, um, you know, it, it's sad. The Republican Party, particularly the political strategists, are very good at discrediting somebody who knows the truth. They do this for a living, and they've done everything they can. Uh, the right-wing people took over the Republican Party here in Florida. They forced me out as chairman. Uh, they hated Charlie Crist. Uh, Governor Crist and I were considered moderates. I like to refer to us as reasonable Republicans. But, uh, you know, they've tried to discredit me. They forced me out as chairman of the party because they wanted someone who fit their views better. They were successful at that. Um, the Republican Party right now in Florida, and unfortunately in a lot of parts of this country, is being run by uh, pitchfork, torch-bearing uh, mobs looking mm. for Frankenstein. And anyone who gets in their way or any law that gets in their way to winning elections, they're going to try and push it aside. And that's not what America's Jim, about. Jim, uh, I know we had one second, but I, I'm going to sure. break rank here. Stay with me. I want sure. you to uh, stay with me. We'll be right back with more from you uh, right after this. Jim Gray on Politics Nation with Al Sharpton. We'll be right back. We're back with more of my conversation with Jim Greer, former chairman of the Florida Republican Party. Jim, let me ask you this. I, I was in Miami earlier this week with Nash Action Network, the president down there, Bishop Victor Curry, and Congresswoman Wilson and others rallying around these uh, new laws. But you were in the room. You were the chairman of the party. You're still a Republican. You disagree with a lot of what we believe in in politics. But is there any doubt in your mind that what you've heard in the room and what you've stated was designed because of what happened in 2008 and these laws and these things are not being done around fraud but done really to limit voters from certain particular demographics, minorities and youth because they want to try to limit the people who will vote in this election. Yeah, there's no doubt that what the Republican-led legislature in Florida and Governor Scott are trying to do is make sure that the Republican Party has an advantage in this upcoming election uh, by reducing early voting, uh, putting roadblocks up for potential voters, Latinos, African Americans, uh, to register and then to exercise their right to vote. There's no doubt I was in the room. It's part of the strategy. You know, the one thing, Al, that people don't realize is winning elections now has become a multi-million dollar business. There are political consultants that get hundreds of thousands of dollars in bonuses if they win elections. And if they've got to change a few voter laws and make it more difficult for minority voters to get to the polls, well, then they're going to do it. Because the Republican Party has given up on minority voters. I didn't when I was chairman. I believe that we needed to reach out. We needed to talk about our message. I did a lot of outreach within the party. They didn't like it. They opposed it from yep. day one. Um, it was just, it, it's just not what the Republican Party well, Jim, we're believes. going to, we're going to have to go. Uh, sure. uh, we went over time. We'll certainly have you back. <laughs> thank you for coming on. Sure. And thank you for your time tonight. Let me say that if you're a Republican, a Democrat, or an independent and heard what you just heard, this is about people's rights. This is not even about who wins this election. This is about who and what this nation is and is going to stand for. Thanks for watching. I'm Al Shock.